Hi everyone, Dan and Carrie from the Anundo Model Farm and we're really excited to be able to update you on some new opportunities and a few changes happening in our ministry here in South Africa. It's spring here in South Africa and the rainy season has begun. We're very thankful. Things are starting to green up around us. You can see the grass is beginning to, to green up and that's just such a huge promise for us for, for this next season. We're really excited to again be able to offer trainings, Farming God's Way trainings uh, for small groups outdoors, even during this COVID time. We have quite a lot of, a number of tools and training equipment that we need to store properly. And so we're really excited to be able to uh, be able to store that in this beautiful new shed behind us. So here we're overlooking our training and demonstration plots. So what you're looking at there is our permanent dry land maize and beans demonstration. It's got a cover crop of oats on it at the moment. We've cut it once, we'll cut it again soon and get it ready for planting in November. And then we're panning left to the mixed vegetable demonstration and, and training area. We've got our, we're at the end of our winter vegetable crop and we're busy planning and getting ready to get seedlings ready for our spring planting. And it's super exciting because we're planning to expand that vegetable plot double in the spring and you can see on the left um, there's an area that's been being conditioned by a, a blanket cover and we're super excited about expanding into that area. Those white bags are sitting in our compost making stations that's material that we're going to use for compost making and training, probably happening next week. And then our new training tent, where we're able to train uh, groups of people and roll those canvas sides up for good ventilation. This training tent has been such an amazing tool for us. If it's too cold, too windy, if it's raining, even if it's too hot, it gives us a nice um, cover with the roof. And there's been some incredible things happening in this tent. Um, people learning, people growing, uh, trainers being trained. We also love that this tent overlooks the gardens and so while we're teaching we can refer to the gardens and there can be learning opportunities there. We have a regular influx of visitors here coming by their ones and twos, often leaders from churches or other faith-based NGOs and part of the purpose of this model farm is to inspire people and to show them what's possible using what we already have, uh, just working in harmony with creation, utilizing farming God's way. When we started here on this uh, garden plot a year ago, the soil, if you can call it that, was a hard packed acidic red clay, and it was as hard as concrete. And now, I mean, the, the amazing transformation that's taken place here on the soil is just incredible. Now, the soil is soft, it's dark, um, and it's, it's easy to work and very fertile, as you can see, the health of these potatoes that have come up recently. Yeah, and many people, they, they come to us and they say, you know, the biggest problem I have is the quality of, our, of my soil. And we have this incredible good news and are able to say, it doesn't matter where you start with your soil. If you are a responsible caretaker, you can improve your soil and you can end up growing amazing um, produce in, in, in that place. Recently here in KwaZulu-Natal, we experienced uh, high rates of civil unrest and civil disobedience, um, destruction, rioting and looting. And we just realized that we're, we've been pretty much on our own here for the last number of years and really just longing to be part of a team again. Earlier this year, we had this amazing visit with leaders from SIM here in South Africa and we started to feel like our hearts were being drawn to the network that SIM represents, both here in South Africa and worldwide. We believe this is going to open up new doors of opportunity for us as, as Farming God's Way leaders and also in Nando development. Opportunities to train interns, uh, to train more and future Farming God's Way leaders and trainers, and to be able to offer training to current SIM global workers who are interested in uh, learning deeply this Farming God's Way tool and putting that in their toolbox for their ministries. We desire and hope for God's kingdom to come here in South Africa, in Africa, and part of that kingdom coming is the alleviation of poverty. It's people having 
healthy food, having food sovereignty. It's the church reaching out and responding in a holistic way that looks at the physical, social, mental, emotional, and spiritual needs of people. If you've been financially supporting us, firstly, we want to say we are incredibly grateful for your faithfulness and you believing in us and, and believing in our, in our ministry. If you haven't already switched your support to our uh, support account with SIM, uh, we're just asking if you would do that and do that in the, in the near future. Our term with SIM starts officially on October, th October the 1st. Um, but hear us when we say we don't take your support for granted and we're very, very grateful. Just yesterday was the second anniversary of us um, getting the keys to this place. And we're just absolutely amazed at what God has done here. The number of people who have, who have come, who have been inspired, who have, who have been trained. We're amazed at the transformation that's happened to the property, to the soil, uh, to the gardens. Just the, the productivity and the, the bounty that's, that's coming from this place. And we've only just begun. The word inando means overflow. And we're beginning to see an overflow that's pouring from this property into people's lives, into changing of mindsets. We're desiring that God would work in a mighty way to bring his abundance and his overflow to South Africa, to Ethiopia, to, to the whole of Africa. And just thank you again for your involvement in what we do. We couldn't be doing it without all the people behind us. And we're just trusting that through your prayers, God will increase all of our efforts for his glory.